Hello. In today's episode of Google Tag Manager, we will discuss how to install Hotjar. Hotjar is a great tool for tracking your site interaction and behavior on your homepage. And I'm not going to get into the details of what Hotjar can do. The purpose of this video is simply to show you how you can actually add Hotjar uh, code into your homepage in the simplest way possible. Let's get started. When you set up your account with Hotjar, there is a place which uh, talks about tracking code or installing Hotjar. And it's a, a piece of code which Hotjar gives you so that you can copy and paste it into the header of your homepage. However, we are going to do this using the Google Tag Manager way. So I will simply go to Google Tag Manager directly to tags. It's a very simple process. Click on new. Again, this is a new interface of uh, the GTM uh, released on the 29th of August 2016. Pretty awesome. Uh, let's get started by naming it uh, Hot Jar Tracking Code or if you would like Tracking Tag just to be consistent. Here is where it gets simpler by selecting custom HTML. Again, Hotjar is not part of the third-party uh, configurations that are pre-baked uh, pre into Google Tag Manager, so it's going to be a simple custom HTML. We're going to paste the code as is and Nothing special. I don't need to go into advanced setting to do anything. You can keep it simple. Uh, regarding firing or triggering, I'm going to do it on all of my pages because I want all my pages to be tracked. And I will save. There you go. The Hotjar tracking tag has been installed. All I need to do is preview it just to test it out and make sure that it gets fired. Again, there are a bunch of uh, extensions, Chrome extensions. Even there is one which is uh, officially released by Google that you can uh, check um, which tags gets fired and when. So I will test it out and then I will hit the publish button so that my changes will be released. And remember, with this new interface, when you hit on publish, you have the option, uh, well, not really the option, you have to do it. You have to give your version configuration a name and a description. Basically, you need to be specific on what changes you did. So I will simply say added the hot jar tag. And you can be specific or you can keep it simple, copy and paste the, the same thing. It makes sense when you have implemented a bunch of changes to list down the details of each and every change in the description. That way, if you want to revert back to a previous version, it will be uh, simple and easy for you to know what you're doing. And I'll hit publish and there you go. My changes are now in effect and my homepage will be able to track visitors using the Hotjar platform. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, this has been a great uh, series of videos on Google Tag Manager. Remember, you can go forward or go backwards and watch more videos. And always, always remember to sign up with Webock for a free account where you can have more in-depth videos with myself about um, anything related to the web. And until next video, take care.